Welcome to This Week in Godot Engine, where we look at the coolest new updates on what people are working on in the Godot Engine in terms of games and tutorials and tools that you can download yourself and try out. So let's get started. Here we have Redno, who's working on his Dungeon Crawler Jam game in Godot. Uh, it looks pretty good to me. Uh, I really like the, the lighting effects and the really crisp graphics he's got there. So looks pretty good on the uh, Dungeon, Crawler Jam, Dungeon Crawler Jam 2024. Redno released Near Infinity, the Dungeon Crawler they made for the Dungeon Crawler Game Jam that was on recently. So they finished it, so congratulations, and you can go to their itch.io page and take a look at it and play it yourself. Hot Coco Studios is working on an interactive world, looks like some physics and a nice looking tune shader there. FPS 60, so it looks pretty good in Godot. Um, they're going to do more than rigid bodies, they said, so looking pretty good. Godot Engine replied to him with this GIF. Frog Mesh is working on a first person game with some characters there. He's tagged Blender 3D and Godot, so he's probably modeled those in Blender and he's animating that in Godot. Nice work. Block 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 is working on the, this Woodblocks game for, with Godot. Today, uh, this week he's looking at the debug view for his boundaries, uh, screen boundaries for the model. So this is the blocks, wood blocks game project page. So it's a relaxing game where you can create scenes by stacking and deforming tiny wood items. So it's a stacking game, looks pretty interesting. Noah Lewin is working on his game Red Silhouette. He has added the camera angle swapping behavior to the game. Put the camera on the right or the left shoulder of the character, so depending on which hand they're using to shoot with. So, uh, wish list this on Steam. Red Silhouette coming in 2024. Studio Telema is working on their game Koira. So they're giving a screenshot of animated a little animation of the of some gameplay. Save a little puppy and embark on a poetic journey through a musical forest. But dangers are lurking in Koira. 2025, Koira will be coming to Steam. Freezy Dev is working on a room-based camera system with rotation bounding. So, and some sword physics. I can't believe it's only been one week, he says. He has an itch page at freezydev.itch.io if you want to check out his previous games, Hakai and Aerial Rave. Marcus is working on nav meshes for the AI enemies in his game, Maloria Online. It looks to be an MMORPG he's working on, and so he's working on the AI. He also posted an update on April the 1st with a dis, uh, demo of roaming, chasing the player, and resetting if the target is too far away. So enemy AI in his MMO. Mohammed is working on his game District Panic and he added new platformer character to his top-down shooter game. Working with Godot Engine is so much fun. You can wishlist District Panic on Steam. Siso slash Samurai Kina is working on his game Bounty Hunters is a top-down shooter it looks like. He's getting 60 FPS with all of these characters moving around. So it looks promising. You can wishlist Bounty Hunters on Steam. There is a demo available so you can download it and try it yourself. Andre Merich is working on an update to his game Spell Deck Thief. And he is simplifying the user experience and uh, working on the user interface looks like so check it out spell deck thief is available on itch.io you can run the game in your browser he is also working on a prototype for a tower defense plus city builder game so 
He's posted a GIF of this as well. Mitch Finzel of Scribs and Flaps is working on an update to their game Constellium. So they are using their new sandbox tools to summon an, ar an army. Constellium is an accessibility driven team versus team video game. Uh, because he injured his hands in 2019, he couldn't play the game, so he came up with a more inclusive game. So you can actually check it out on Steam. The demo is available to download. And the release date has not been announced, but it's coming soon. Zokoin is working on his game. Of, we don't know the name of it yet, but uh, he is looking at the UI and special effects. He also posted an update uh, that this game has a stress system. So the more enemies you kill, the weaker they get, but the harder they attack. Boggy is just messing around in Godot Engine. Looks like he's working on a kick, first person kicking game. Perhaps, um, with it looks like a hand-drawn style, so you can kick around objects in the environment. It looks like a very early prototype of this game right now. And Foggy also posted this on April 1st, why he's moving from Godot Engine to Unity. A thread. Godot Engine retweeted, you did not see that. This is a April Fool's joke. This week, the developer of Whiskerwood Vale has posted this screenshot of the game. Whiskerwood Vale is an expressive 3D platformer with a low poly pixel art style, inspired by games like Hollow Knight, Super Mario Odyssey, and Celeste. He has a YouTube channel where you can go and watch his daily live stream, so check it out on YouTube. If you would like to see how the sausage is made, come here and watch his 8 hours stream per day. Low Light Games has posted this animated GIF of their game that they're working on, where they've implemented Mines. The name of the game, I don't know what it is, but you can check out their games at their flowlightgames.itch.io. They have a few games on there, like Glorious Tactics game, Kappa Kipo, and Greg the Time Fish, among other games. Gots of Ankin is working on a 3D FPS game. And they posted a small video of footage from the game. They've added shooting, no trigger, reload, and cultist in its animations. Blood spray, animated blood pools, bullet hole decals, terrain dust, ammo item, ammo and disgut counter, GUI, and fix the issues. Enemy logic and some map level edits are next. Hot Noggin Studios is working on the game Command Quest. Um, they have implemented saving and loading this week. So, and they said they may make a little tutorial. I asked them to do it in the comments and they said, okay, so let's hope they will post their tutorial and we can all benefit from their knowledge. Collect those keys, open the locks and save the world. This is Command Quest. Oz says here is their Godot Engine landscape system and it's running on android using the compatibility renderer all settings at max in a real game he would hide most of the grass and use a lower tree density and lod's the performance here looks pretty promising and very smooth for an android system uh, as we all know android phones aren't usually the best in terms of graphics power right so check it out Prismacore Dream posted this video of their game in progress in Godot. Top down RPG style, pixelated style. Polygon Solo has posted a video of his progress with his game that he's working on in Godot 4. I particularly like the lens flares and skybox in this scene and the horse animation is pretty fluid and, and impressive to me. And he's got um, some animation on the tail and the mane of the horse too. So good good work. It looks really good. It, this is a prototype landscape environment. Of course, there's no textures on it, but it gives you an idea of what this animation is like. And the, uh, the atmosphere looks am pretty amazing to me, actually. Leg is working on his 
Zelda inspired top down game, it looks like it. And he's working with spikes in the environment. Hawkett has posted this video from the game she is working on. She said she spent all, all day and a couple hours last night just trying to figure out how to get the character to move when I have them attack, and she just got it to work. Now she has to figure out why the first two moves are shorter than the third. Nice looking work, and keep up the good work. Dream has posted a, bit, a video from their game, which is a multiplayer arena slash 3D FPS game. Saying the game is too damn fun, made with Godot. This game looks to be a fast paced multiplayer FPS experience, so keep up the good work, undefeatable. Pixama has posted an, an update and a video on their game. Uh, it's a retro PSX style game in development. Attack is a work in progress, but at least I can move. Keep up the good work, Pixama. Denis has posted an update for the game Forge Master that they're working on. Project Forge Master, the original soundtrack, track two, The King's Path. I'll leave a link to this and you can come and listen to the soundtrack. It's very Nintendo inspired to me and give it a listen, original soundtrack. Jonathan from Softbushware is working on dynamic enemy slicing in their unnamed 3D, um, possibly a sword game. Tim from Blue Key Games is showing off the They Came From Dimension X title screen for their game with, made with Godot Engine. Let's take a look. The music has a very 50s sci-fi feel to it with the with the soundtrack. So it looks to be like a 50s style game. I look forward to seeing more about the they came from Dimension X. Aus Anis is showing a video of what they call the coolest bug ever. Let's take a look at that. The bug where the game pauses the monsters, but not the player. So they were playing the Time in a Bottle song, but I, I muted it because of copyright considerations. So, but it was pretty cool to imagine this bug in a game. It was more of a feature, maybe. Game Dev Llama posted an update from his game Field 2 Feast. And it looks to be a farm management sim type game of a character falling out of the sky. I, I expect that this is a bug, a bug of some sort as well. Make is showing an update from his game and it looks like a fox on a skateboard. It really looks pretty cool actually that he can do tricks on the skateboard. So he says it works and it makes him smile. So it gets in the game and you you're grinding along it. This this is amazing skateboard game in made in Godot. Look forward to seeing more updates. And he also posted this update about the attack mechanic where his character is doing like a bounce attack or something. He's going to be adding aim assist to this, so we look forward to seeing more updates from this game. Twilight is showing off a video of a ported track from F-Zero GX in Godot Engine. I'm not sure how he exactly went about porting this, but according to the comments, this is the actual track from F-Zero. And a clip from the multiplayer GP that he did the other day where Got a ridiculous broke down finish. This is running in Godot. Godot Engine posted their reply of a cat in a car <laughs> going fast. Some commenters noticed that this was the casino level from F0 GX. So running in Godot at an impressive frame rate, it seems to be. So it's pretty good. It looks good. Look forward to hearing more about this game. 
Wheel Steel posted a happy Easter post showing the leapfrog ability in their prototype of Wheel Steel. Look forward to seeing more on this. The performance looks amazing. It looks like a fun game to play. Even though it's in its early stages, it looks to be promising. So keep up the good work, and we'll see more on this in the future. Nagi poses the question, how much of this is made in Godot? It's working on a menu screen, put posting memes of it won't work, and showing that yes, it actually does work. It looks pretty good. And the answer is, everything in this video is made with Godot, except the background video and the main in the main menu. Everything else you see is made in Godot. Performance looks good. Look forward to seeing more on this. Afi posted this video of his Pong type game. It almost looks like Super Meat Boy meets Pong. Um, someone commented that it, it looks like a game that was already released called Comp. So it looks, it does look a little bit similar to that, but it is a little bit different as well. So Afi said he was going to take a look at and maybe make some changes to this game based on the fact that there's another game very similar to it. So we'll see what happens with that. Ash Taylor posted this video of their enemy encounters in their, their rhythm game called Cordioid. The game looks pretty interesting, a rhythm-based game. We look forward to seeing more about this. A random gal posted an update on her speed-based 2D platformer she's developing. It looks pretty fast paced so far, so we look forward to seeing more about this one. Softwool released an update on their game Pistola. Uh, it's updating for the Mac M2 to fix the performance issue we see in this video, where it is almost like a slideshow, uh, but <clears throat> the Steam version. But afterwards, it is smooth, so. The MacBook Pro users are probably looking forward to this update. Liam released an update on his game Point Rescue. It is a rail shooter that uh, harkens back to the 80s and 90s when we used to go into the arcades and play these rail shooters where you are moving through the environment and aiming and shooting at random enemies that appear. You can go and download the, dem the demo it itself and play it yourself at itch.io. So check it out. If you play it more than once, it may go through the a different path. So play it multiple times. Uh, the game is fairly challenging. I played it myself. So take a look. I'll put a link to this down below. A Bit Awake posted a video from their uh, game called Helms of Fury where you can adopt companion pets that you rescue from boss battles and other encounters. Looks pretty interesting, 2D, um, it's a roguelite, so it looks pretty good. Look forward to seeing more on this game. Jamesy released an update on his first person shooter fast paced game called, the name of the game is Cruel and it's a fast paced first person shooter. So looking for a June-July release, the game looks pretty fast-paced, so look forward to that coming soon. Who's working on the game Ancient Mind posted this update of a before-after when they were working on fixing the lighting in their level. Before, it wasn't working properly with lines and, and shadows, but now you can see that the light properly works. Congratulations, it looks much better now. And we will look forward to seeing more of this game in the future. So that's it for this week in Godot Games Edition. This is just part one. Part two, we will look at tutorials and tools and anything else that does not fit within the games category. So stay tuned for that. That will be releasing later this week and leave a like subscribe comment down below and we'll see you in part two